weather. All right, as the evening progresses, we will see the potential at least for some wintry mix, but basically a chilly rain across Connecticut. So provided that with uh, temperatures remaining above average for the foreseeable future, our snow deficits will continue to grow for the Hartford area. All in so far, 9.4 inches, not even an inch for Bridgeport. So the deficits here, uh, over 20 inches for the Hartford area and approaching a foot and a half for Bridgeport. So those numbers will continue to get bigger as we head forward in time. Currently across the state, we're in the 30s uh, from 34 in Salisbury to 37, Hartford 38 right now, New Haven 36 in Groton. So fairly uniform. We've got a southerly component to the wind around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So regardless of direction, certainly making it feel chillier. Uh, sub freezing all across the state, more like the mid and upper 20s in many locations. So you'll certainly need a jacket if you're heading out and about this evening. But all in all, today, despite being much cooler than yesterday, still uh, a little bit above average and off to our west. We've got a, a narrow band of showers in association with a weak front that's going to be pushing into southern New England. And as that happens, we'll see our chances for precip increasing as the evening progresses, uh, really picking up, say, 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Any wintry mix should be brief and really confined to far northern Connecticut. So you can see across New England temps uh, in the 20s and 30s, milder air to our southwest uh, will be returning as soon as tomorrow. So as we look at the big picture, this boundary moves through high pressure from the west briefly builds in uh, for tomorrow before another storm system heads our way for Thursday. So it's a fairly active and mild weather pattern that will continue for us. Uh, so as we check out Futurecast, primarily cloudy this evening, but as we head toward 8, 9 o'clock tonight, you can see some of those pinks and blues showing up over the northwest hills. Again, briefly and really confined to far northern Connecticut in those higher elevations, perhaps a little bit of a mix. Elsewhere, it's a chilly rain and it moves quickly across Connecticut. So by midnight tonight, it's basically winding down exiting across eastern Connecticut and then clearing gets underway. So for our Wednesday, waking up to a mostly sunny sky and we'll see plenty of sun through tomorrow afternoon. Temps tomorrow back into the mid and upper 40s across inland Connecticut with the northwesterly breeze. We could pop into low 50s along the Connecticut shoreline. Sun up tomorrow uh, at 656 and sets at 515. So just uh, over 24 hours from now. So uh, on our early morning seven day forecast, we've got that next chance for rain coming on Thursday, especially from the afternoon into the evening. Given the cloud cover on Thursday, likely a couple degrees cooler than tomorrow. And then behind that system for Friday, we'll see increasing sunshine. A westerly breeze will help boost temperatures well into the 50s. And the 50s on Friday that we're forecasting right now uh, could likely break records. Uh, currently for the Hartford area uh, from 1909. So a 114 year old record is in jeopardy of being tied or broken. Uh, the same goes for Bridgeport, but that record more recently from 2001 currently stands at 54. So as we head into the upcoming weekend, and this is a big change from uh, last night and this morning, if you were tuning in to see Scott, uh, we've re reintroduced sun for Saturday. It looks like a system that was once going to produce unsettled weather, kind of right across southern New England with some on and off rain and even snow chances is going to be farther offshore. So we're going for increasing sunshine, breezy, highs in the low and mid 40s. And then on Sunday, an offshore system could spread some mid and high level clouds across Connecticut to where we're going to see some dim sun, but uh, still temperatures running uh, into the mid 40s and then even milder weather on tap yet again by next week. By next Tuesday, highs back near 50.